Welcome to the Online Public Information Center for the Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Study for the Regional Road 50 or Niagara Street Bridge Reconstruction in the City of Welland. The Niagara Region is conducting a Municipal Class Environmental Assessment or Class EA to assess alternative solutions for the replacement of the Niagara Street Bridge in the City of Welland as well as alternative solutions for the extension of a transmission water main along Niagara Street. The purpose of this public information center is to provide an update to the general public on the progress of the Class EA study and provide an overview of the following. Overview of the environmental assessment process, problem or opportunity being considered for this study, description of the bridge replacement alternative solutions, evaluation criteria and process, description of the water main installation, and next steps in the municipal class environmental assessment process. We invite you to share your comments and questions about the information presented by completing an online comment sheet found on the region's website or by contacting the project team members identified on the next steps page. The Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Planning and Design Process is used by municipalities to ensure that the requirements of the Environmental Assessment Act are met when undertaking capital works projects. The Niagara Street Bridge Replacement is being carried out as a Schedule C undertaking, following Phases 1 through 5 of the flowchart presented below. We are currently nearing the completion of Phase 3, developing alternative design concepts for the preferred solution. Following this online public information center, the Municipal Class EA process will be completed through the preparation of an environmental study report and publishing of the notice of study completion. Following a 30-day public review of the environmental study report, the Class EA will be completed and the region will transition to the phase five or implementation phase, including detailed design, approvals, and construction. As previously mentioned, the Niagara Region is conducting a municipal class environmental assessment to assess alternative solutions for the replacement of the Niagara Street Bridge in the City of Welland, as well as the extension of a transmission water main along Niagara Street. The Niagara Street Bridge structure, built in 1932, is a four-span 68 meter long slab on concrete girder bridge that has been identified as needing replacement due to age and condition of the structure. Previous structural inspections of the bridge identified severe areas of concrete spalling, cracking and deterioration on the structure. In addition, to provide needed additional supply capacity to the area, an extension of the 600 millimeter diameter transmission main at Riverbank Street to the 600 millimeter diameter transmission main at Mill Street is required. For the Municipal Class Environmental Assessment, the study area includes the Niagara Street or Regional Road 50 bridge structure and roadway approaches between Mill Street and Riverbank Street in the City of Welland, as identified in the study area map provided. The Niagara Street Bridge structure carries Regional Road 50, a major north-south arterial roadway over the Welland River. The bridge is located west of the downtown core, serves an average annual daily traffic of 12,400, and provides access to residential, commercial, and industrial uses. The bridge structure was originally constructed in 1932, underwent extensive rehabilitation works in 1973, and interim repair works in early 2020. The existing structure is 68 meters long with four spans and has a cross-sectional width of 18.3 meters, consisting of two travel lanes, including shoulders, of seven meters wide each, and sidewalks and parapet walls on both sides. The superstructure is reinforced concrete slab on 28 pre-stressed concrete girders with an asphalt wearing surface, which was reconstructed in 1973. The substructure consists of reinforced concrete abutments and three concrete piers, all supported by timber piles and are original through the 1932 
construction. The first public information center that was held for this municipal class environmental assessment study was held virtually on Thursday, March 4th, 2021. As part of the first public information center, the following four bridge replacement alternative solutions were presented, including alternative one, do nothing, alternative two, replace superstructure utilizing the existing piers, alternative three, replace with a new superstructure and substructure, and alternative four, replace with a new single span structure. The preferred alternative solution was determined to be alternative three, replace with new superstructure and substructure. The following four water main crossing alternatives were also presented during the first public information center, which included alternative number one, trenchless crossing, alternative two, independent pipe bridge, alternative three, support the water main from the Niagara Street bridge structure, and alternative four, install the water main inside the steel tub girder bridge. The preferred alternative solution was determined to be alternative three, support water main from Niagara Street Bridge. Considering the preferred solution for the Niagara Street Bridge replacement was to replace the existing superstructure and substructure, several alternative bridge design options were developed. Option one includes a two span steel eye girder bridge. This would mean replacing the existing bridge with a new structure, both superstructure and substructure. The bridge would have a 14.8 meter wide cross section, including two 3.5 meter wide travel lanes, two 1.8 meter wide bicycle lanes, and two 1.8 meter wide sidewalks. The existing piers would be removed to riverbed with one new concrete pier being constructed. The abutment walls would also be rebuilt due to existing deterioration. The new superstructure will be constructed with steel eye girders with concrete deck and asphalt surface. Design option number two includes a two span pre stress concrete girder bridge. This includes replacing the existing bridge with a new structure, both superstructure and substructure. The bridge would have a 14.8 meter wide cross section, including two 3.5 meter wide travel lanes two 1.8 meter wide bicycle lanes, and two 1.8 meter wide sidewalks. The existing piers would be removed to riverbed with one new concrete pier being constructed. The abutment walls would also be rebuilt due to existing deterioration. The new superstructure will be constructed with pre-stressed concrete girders with concrete deck and asphalt surface. The third bridge design option includes a three-span pre-stressed concrete girder bridge. This includes replacing the existing bridge with a new structure, both superstructure and substructure. The bridge would have a 14.8 meter wide cross section, including two 3.5 meter travel lanes, two 1.8 meter wide bicycle lanes, and two 1.8 meter wide sidewalks. The existing piers would be removed to riverbed with two new concrete piers being constructed. The abutment walls would also be rebuilt due to existing deterioration. The new superstructure will be constructed with pre-stressed concrete girders with concrete deck and asphalt surface. As part of the municipal class environmental assessment process, all alternative bridge design options that have been developed require evaluation. The evaluation criteria that were used to evaluate the alternative bridge design options include the natural environment, technical design features, technical construction considerations, aesthetics, and cost. Within the natural environment criteria, key considerations include direct and indirect impacts on the existing vegetation, water quality, water course, and fisheries and wildlife habitat, the hydraulic impact on the Welland River, consideration for temporary impact to the natural environment due to construction, and consideration for long-term and permanent impacts to the environment due to the new structure. Technical design features and their considerations include the ability to address structural requirements, 
consideration for structural sustainability, consideration for ease of access to complete future bridge inspections, and the consideration for future maintenance needs. The technical construction criteria key considerations include consideration for length of time to complete construction, constructability, and the consideration for the complexity or ease of the construction process, and the consideration for any special equipment required to complete the construction. The aesthetics criteria includes consideration for how visually appealing the alternative is, and finally, the cost criteria considers the construction cost. Shown here is the evaluation matrix for the alternative bridge design options. Each of the three alternative bridge design options were evaluated against the five criteria identified. For each criteria, the alternative was evaluated on a scale from one to five, with one being the least preferred and five being the most preferred. Alternative one, the two-span steel eye girder bridge received the highest score of 80 and identified as the most preferred design option. As discussed earlier, the Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Study also reviewed and evaluated various water main crossings for the new 600 millimeter diameter transmission main connecting the existing mains at Riverbank and Mill Street. As determined during phase two of the Class EA process, the new 600 millimeter diameter water main crossing will be supported from the Niagara Street bridge structure after replacement. Key considerations in design will include protection of the crossing from freezing and vandalism. No further design options were developed for the water main crossing as part of the Class EA study. Design details will be confirmed during implementation of the preferred solution, including the detailed design and construction. Thank you for taking the time to review the materials presented in this online public information center. Next steps in the municipal class environmental assessment process include integrating any feedback received through this public consultation, Documenting the Class EA process, including consideration for a detailed design to be carried forward, and filing of the environmental study report for a 30-day public review. Ways you can get involved include submitting questions and input by completing an online comment sheet or reaching out to the project team members identified here. You can visit the project webpage at the niagararegion.ca website to view study material. You can review the environmental study report once it is available for the 30-day public review. The comment period for this online public information center will be open until Friday, July 2nd, 2021.